Hello, good people. This is Sherry Shine with Sharika Originals. I'm here with another quick video. I made these wood earrings. Um, there, it's just the bare wood. I didn't uh, do anything else to them. But um, what what I like about them is that this is my hand created design. So what I'm going to do is show you my hand drawn design. I'm going to show you how I how I uh, put it into um, silhouette and trace it, turn it into an SVG, and then make these earrings. And it's something that's really, really easy, and you can do it too. All right, stay tuned and be there. Okay, I'm going to uh, upload. I took a picture of uh, my hand drawn design, so I'm going to, I have um, saved it. I sent it from my phone to my computer. And uh, so I'm going to open it in Silhouette Business Edition. Okay, as you can see, it's open now. So the first thing I need to do is I need to trace it in order to change it from a JPEG to an SVG. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to open my my uh, replicate panel, my trace panel. I'm going to open my trace panel. First thing it tells you to do is select trace area. So I'm going to select this area. And then I go down to trace preview and then threshold. And it starts at 45, and then you just click the up arrow until until your picture gets clear. Sometimes if you go too far, it gets too much, too much, um, whatever in it. I don't know the technical name for it. But anyway, it's at 61 now, so I'm going to stop there because if you can see in this little corner, I'm getting a little something here that I don't, I don't want. So. Now, after after I do that, then I go down to Trace Style, and I'm going to tell it to Trace. Okay, so when it turns red, you know that it, it has traced. So then I'm going to remove my original picture. I'll move, move it to the side. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make my screen a little bigger so I can see better. Okay, I always like to take a, a, a make a duplicate of my design because I'm gonna. So I'm gonna do Control C V, and that gives me a one that I'm gonna put aside here. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna make an earring. So it's it's a it's an SVG now. I'm gonna make an earring so. Um, I'm going to go over here to my shapes and get this oval. I'm kind of stuck on this oval shape right now. I always get, you know, stuck on certain things until I can, until I can move myself off. Okay. Oops. Got to get out of that. I don't want that big one. So now I got this, uh, Got to make it an earring, so I'm put. I'm gonna put a hole in it. My little hole. Escape, then click on it, and I'm gonna go up, up here to my height and my width. I'm gonna say zero nine for width and zero nine for height. Zero nine. Okay, enter. Okay, now I'm gonna move my. I'm going to move my uh, earring hole down to my earring. I'm try to. I don't measure a lot. I, I need to learn how to measure these things exactly. But I just eyeball it for now. Okay, so I'm going to group this so my earring hole stays where I want it. So I'm going to go up to Object and then Group. And now, while I still have it highlighted, I'm going to change the color to black. Because as you know, 
Glowforge uh, takes instructions by color and I want it to cut this shape. So I'm going to tell it to cut black and to um, score um, the red. So now I'm going to move, I'm going to move my my uh, shape over to my design and decide where I want it to cut. I think I'm going to go like right over, over here. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I forgot to tell you to make a make a copy of your shape. I'll tell you why you need that in a minute. Okay. Okay, so here's a copy of my shape. I'm going to move it over here. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go to the replicate panel, which is it's this little cutout thing here. So click that. Oh, modify panel. Sorry about that. Modify panel. So now what we what we want to do is it says modify. You have all these well, subtract, divide, subtract, uh, intersect, and crop. Crop. And we want to use crop. So we're going to highlight a whole thing, and then we're going to go over here and say crop. See? Okay. So it cropped it. Now I want to um, make sure that all of my little parts stay together. So I'm going to I'm going to make this a compound path. So, so I go to Object and make compound path. Okay. So now it's all one one design. Now I'm going to take my sh and you as you can see now I have my it's cut out, but it, it doesn't have any kind of a border around it. So I'm going to put a cut border around it. So I take my shape and I put it on there. Okay. Now I'm going to group this. So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to say group. So I'll go to object and group. Okay. Now that I have this grouped, this, there's a definite design in this earring. I want when I make earrings, I like to mirror them. So I'm going to make a copy of my earring. Control C V. And then I'm going the second one, I'm going to I'm going to select it. And I'm going to go to the object. I'm going to say mirror flip horizontally. So that mirrors it now. So, all right. So we're going to I'm going to save this, and then uh, take it to Glowforge and tell it to engrave it. So, all right. Okay, I'm in Glowforge now. I have opened my file and I'm going to tell Glowforge to cut the first one. So I, I'm using, um, I choose my, my material, which is medium maple plywood for this. And then I'm telling it to cut this first one. And then the second one, I'm telling it to score it. So you see the two different colors is like a pink and a, with an orange around it. So now that's what Glowforge is going to do is I'm going to tell it to go ahead and go ahead and work on that. All right. And I'll show you my result. Here are the earrings and the hand drawn design that I did. So I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. It could be a little bit better, so I would work on this design, but um, it's, it's uh, pretty good. I'm happy with it. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. This is Sherry Shine with Sharika Originals. As always, be blessed.